I write a lot of stuff, I'm going to try to do good. Okay. My doctors call me a zebra. A zebra among horses. I'm thinking, what does that mean? It's basically a term that doctors give to patients who don't fit the standard protocol. It's also a nice way of saying we don't know what the hell to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> I fit this description because I've had some weird things. I've had cancer diagnosis a couple times, and in between, I had primary brain tumor diagnosis, and none of this was really any kind of correlation. According to the National Cancer Institute, there are 688,000 people in the U.S. managing life with a primary brain tumor. Majority of them are benign, about 75%. I'm part of that data. No one is ever really ready to receive a brain tumor diagnosis. It's a life-changing event. Everybody's situation is different, but we all have a similar sense of fear. I was able to manage my fear by taking an empowered empowered approach after being labeled a zebra. I had no obvious symptoms other than you know, I had some occasional headaches and some weird body aches and sinus problems. But I knew something was not right and I kept asking and kept pushing the doctors and oh, you're, you're all right here's a prescription for this a prescription for that but I knew instinctively something was not right so I kept kind of pushing. Eventually an MRI was ordered of my brain after one of the blood tests showed that I had high prolactin levels. Prolactin is a hormone produced by a pituitary gland, which is in your brain. So we did the MRI and we discovered a really tiny pituitary tumor. But then, surprise, they found another one, larger. It's, it's called a vestibular schwannoma. Sometimes it's called an acoustic neuroma. This is a rare brain tumor. It grows has grown where your acoustic nerve is, which you're hearing, your facial nerve, and your vestibular nerve, which is a balanced nerve. Mine is actually pushing on the brain. <coughs> Two brain tumors. That was a clarion moment for me, okay? It changed my perspective on life. My children were 11 and 14 years old at the time. I wanted to be there for them. I wanted to watch them grow up. I won't get into the details about the research and the treatment that I had to receive because that's a different story. My story today is I want to tell you how I found out the cause of I wasn't going to accept this and not accept the status quo. This tumor being, and, and being labeled a zebra, I wasn't going to accept that. So this experience introduced me to functional medicine. Functional medicine is basically the integration of Western medicine and Eastern medicine. My chiropractor had referred me to an integrative doctor here in Atlanta with a background in epidemiology. He used to work at the CDC. I met with him, and he actually sat down and talked to me. He listened, he found out my family history, and based on that, he determined the different diagnostic testing to be done. We discovered that I had a dairy allergy, specifically casein protein. We also discovered that my gut did not have enough of the right bacteria. That's because over the years, I was given a prescription for this and a prescription for that. It just kind of upsets the balance of your body. My immune system couldn't handle you know, a lot of the things that were thrown my way. So my functional medicine doctor put me on a very strict diet for three months to help detox everything. It was difficult in the beginning, but actually was definitely worth it because it changed my life. I had more energy after that again. I had always had a lot of energy, but I had more energy after that. I started sleeping better again, and my prolactin levels were normal again. I was so pumped about this experience. I did a lot of research, and I wanted to become a certified health coach. And I became a health advocate because I think this message needs to get out there and share this with everybody. And I have a blog and I do a lot of writing. I want to show that functional medicine can be effective. Functional medicine is effective. I am an example of that. I still have to monitor my tumor. The doctors are very impressed with my balance. The doctors are impressed that the tumor has remained stable for six years. It's 
because of all the changes I made and I refused to take all those pills they wanted to give me. Everybody's different, I'm not saying it's bad, but it wasn't working for Bridget. So being labeled a zebra is what allowed me to choose empowerment. And being empowered is what allowed me to find hope in many things. Thank you.